G'day you absolute legends, welcome back to the channel, it's John here with a little bonus video and if you've not seen the video where I head to uh, the cinema in the woods, check it out, it's there right now. Um, when I was checking the cinema out, this beautiful 1935 Riley Falcon uh, with the 12.4 engine came bombing past me and I just had to go and have a look. So in this video, little bonus video, we have a quick look around this lovely Riley um, and a big thanks to uh, James Tempest, who is the current owner of the Riley, who let me have a brief look around. Uh, so I've spotted this car uh, outside the Kinema in the Woods, the uh, 1920s cinema uh, based at Woodhall Spa in Lincolnshire. And I got chatting to the owner called James, who uh, bought it uh, last year, actually, from uh, a chap called James Green, who was the owner of the kinema. So it stayed local uh, nearly all its life. And it was built by uh, Mulliners and Riley. So it's got a Mulliners chassis, hardwood chassis, just like my Armstrong Sidley. Um, and then obviously Riley around it. And it is a beautiful car in this lovely red and black. It's got all its original interior. Uh, and it was rebuilt by Mike Hallam at some point in the 1990s. So it was restored in the 90s. Uh, but it's been restored lovingly, keeping obviously this lovely red leather interior. Wilson pre-select gearbox. Um, let's take a look under the engine bay. You've got this lovely 12-4 engine, beautiful. Uh, and if you haven't experienced a Wilson pre-select gearbox, it's an unusual thing to drive, it really is. Uh, we've got these uh, indicators on the front wings, and we've got these wing mirrors as well. They're Denso mirrors. Uh, they would have originally been on the posts um, next to the uh, driver's door and the passenger door as well you see it's got what's known as uh, the suicide doors you can see that they open outwards uh, it really is a beautiful machine and i would love to just give a big shout out um, to james for letting me have a brief look and he didn't expect me to be having a look inside so uh, he did say look it's in usable condition and um, he was actually taking his mum out for a day in horncastle so they were going to go uh, out for the day maybe do a little bit of shopping and have a little bit of afternoon tea um here it is then just thought i thought you'd like it uh, if you have enjoyed the video please let me know We've got this lovely engine bay with the uh, the bonnet folds up, this concertina fold with the big old hinges and the pull handles. And I do get to have a quick look in the boot as well in a minute. I do like these old Rileys. They are a beautiful little thing. And it, it must admit, when it came whizzing past me, uh, it had an absolutely beautiful sound to it. Look at them lovely wire spoke wheels as well. Absolutely stunning. And that big old sort of spare wheel sort of size uh, in the back of the boot here. XG3663. Uh, I believe the original number plate for the car as well. Um, trafficators are installed in this vehicle. However, they weren't working. There has been some aftermarket later additions with those um, indicators, uh, modern-ish indicators, obviously, to make everything nice and road safe for the modern day driving and he does he drives it quite a lot you can see we've got some classic oil in there and we've got the uh, spare wheel it's going to be under there in the tool kit jacks aren't built into the car i thought it was going to be built into the bodywork uh, like my armstrong siddley but it isn't just look at it what a beautiful thing and actually you can see the snail van in the background as well let's hear it disappearing uh, he's, james is going to start it up for us and head on to go and see his mum in horncastle if you've enjoyed the video, please give it a like and a subscribe to the channel. Comment down below, what do you think of this beautiful Riley Falcon? There she goes. A little beep as well as we go off into the countryside. Until next time, have a great day. Thanks for your support. Take care. Goodbye.